Body Bags from 1993 is a horror anthology film produced for Showtime. John Carpenter directs the first two segments as well as starring as The Coroner, a Crypt Keeper-esque pun spewer who introduces each tale. The first segment is called The Gas Station. A young college student works overnight at a gas station in Haddonfield, Illinois. And much like today when a woman makes an appearance on an internet forum, all the men she encounters are varying degrees of creepy towards her. She tolerates this from some depending on their level of hunkiness, such as when David Naughton shows up. She doesn't mind him, but when a disheveled Wes Craven appears, yeah, she's having none of that. Yeah, I got some bourbon out in the car. I can get you to come out of that booth. Maybe I'll see you around. Huh? Unfortunately for her, there's an escaped mental patient slash serial killer on the loose. Not Michael Myers, sadly. And eventually, one of the creepy dudes she's encountered during her shift reveals himself as that killer. The gas station is fun. It's a very quick and dirty horror tale with a ton of cameos by lots of genre favorites. The second segment is called Hair, and it stars Stacy Keach giving a great performance as a man unwilling to accept that he's going bald. He goes through multiple gimmicks to fix his problem, much to the chagrin of his girlfriend, Sheena Easton, who likes him just fine. Eventually, he sees an ad on TV with David Warner touting a miracle cure. He goes in for a procedure, and it's a success. He now has long, luxurious, absurd-looking hair. It's here. I have it. It works. Oh, God, look at this. <laughs> might be wondering how this is a horror tale. I was too. That aspect of the story finally arrives as his hair keeps growing and growing. And it's revealed that David Warner's company is all a front set up by wormy alien creatures to feast on human brains. Unfortunately, the story just stops there without a third act of any kind. It's enjoyable up to that point though, but I wanted more. Also, the weird, jazzy, vaguely Twin Peaks score used in this episode just doesn't work. The third segment, I, was directed by Toby Hooper. It stars Mark Hamill as a minor league baseball player. Come on, just use the, you know. He loses an eye in a car accident, and then his doctors, played by genre legends Roger Corman and John Agar, offer him an eye transplant. The eye from a dead person? Oh, I guess it would have to be. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Bill. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Oh, boy. You think about God's will. Is this God's will? Well, isn't it? I don't know. Well, he gave us the ability to think and make discoveries, you know what I mean, you know, science and everything. And yeah, eye transplant, donor was a deranged murderer, you saw body parts, you know what's up. Despite the familiar premise, I is awkward and unpleasant most of the time, in stark contrast to the first two stories. John Carpenter explains in the extras on the Blu-ray that Showtime wanted to make this thing quick, and so he saw it as a way to do some work during downtime, and to involve a bunch of his friends as well. Showtime then later offered to make it an ongoing series, probably to counter HBO's Tales from the Crypt, but they wanted to film in Canada and on a drastically reduced budget. Carpenter didn't see any point in doing that, so that's why it never continued past this initial film. 
but as a standalone anthology, it's not bad at all. I'd recommend watching it at least once, and the disc has a John Carpenter commentary track on it, so you know that's gonna be worth a listen. Your lips, palms, of hands, and soles of feet The only place on your body where it won't be On top of your head, a hundred thousand follicles there Have you guessed it yet? I'm talking about 